Cliff. No, a lot. My, uh, my, my left hip is about to go in full spasm, <laughs> standing like Aloy Jimenez. Take me through how and why he does this and what it means. I think he's trying to get to the backside. Well, you know, when you talk about a, some guys, when you have a little bit of a leg kick, D, sometimes you get up and you go out. His was trying to get on his backside, so he had, you know, he, he had his power and his strength, and he never left it. But I think the biggest thing is, we won't get into it, the one thing I think pitchers are trying to do is get him out inside. And they can't. When you look at highest average on pitcher on the inner third of the strike zone, look at this. He's in 370, so he's leading the league. You talk about a big guy on the plate. Like you, bait, bait, he, he is, is baiting you. But I think I think when you when when you look at, and I'm gonna get into it in a second, when you look at what he's been doing lately, he's on his backside so 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 good that now nothing is surprising him. He's covering the whole plate, he's hitting the ball to the right side of the field, he's hitting the ball out the park to the left. But nothing is sort of jamming them. And I think pitchers think they can get them out inside. So we're going to go through the tape, and I'm going to show you what I mean by, 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 by how he's hitting the inner, inner half of the, uh, taking care of the inner half of the plate. And it's all based on him getting on. And you think because he's so closed off that he can't get back to the baseball, yeah. but he does. So let's cut out the outer third. Oh, I like let's that. just put him in a position where you talk about the inner, inner half of the plate. Boom. Look how the hands get through so easily. But he's on his backside, he's free. And when I used to do it that way, I felt free here to get to the, that, that, that pitch that was inside. So you see the catchers are set up pretty much middle, but, the, but they're making mistakes in or half, and he's making you pay since the All-Star break. But the foot Look at that foot. Uh, but it, does, it doesn't wow. do anything for any, God, anybody. God, it looks like it hurts. I don't think him. he can do that for the rest of his career. I think he can because when, when you see it, now roll it. When you <laughs> see it, look at this. Boom. It doesn't, it doesn't come back that I way. I know, but God, to it engage it like that, way. that is just awkward. But it's whatever flows to both. So everybody's different. And I just cut uh. out the outer half because I just want to show you if pitchers are going to continuously think that they can get him out in side, you better throw that book away. You're not going to do it. So roll this right here. Look at how, look at where his hands are. You're not getting him out in there. So I think when you talk about inner half, okay, cool. If they do go outer half, I still believe he'll make the adjustment because I just saw him do it in a couple games, especially when he's hot. The one thing Ooh. is he doesn't play enough. And that's the only knock, and it's not his fault. He just gets hurt. He's only been in 55 games last couple of seasons, and I think that's hurt him. But look at the foot, and look how it opens up. So he's never closed off, and I think the perception is he is. I think they're thinking. Did you I can't, to put your foot? Not that yes, bad. I was, you did. That. I closed off. But look, you're thinking anything he does here, he's going to pull that ball foul. Well, you would think anything that comes in here, that ball is going to be foul. But it's not the case. And I think that's the difference. So you're letting these roll, and you're saying, well, he's hitting homers. Yeah. Since the All Star break, that's what he's doing. And that's last night, middle, middle. So I just want to show you what he's doing to all these pitches on the inner half of the plate. But when you see 370, you're thinking, how is he hitting 370? Is he hitting 370 with singles and, and you know doubles? Is he getting jammed? He's not getting jammed. But I think when you think hard hit percentages, you got Aaron Judge, obviously. Look, look where he's at. Look at that. Indeed. Well, that's the expectation of him when he stays healthy, well, right? See, that's the thing. He's been in the league since 19, right? He hasn't played. You know, you think about the shortened season, 55 games. Last year, 55 games. This year, 67 games. So when you don't have him on the field, it's hard for you to put this White Sox team in a position where they're going to go deep in the postseason. I know. Right? They're hitting their stride right now. Rick Hahn's made some pretty decent trades. I mean, not trades, but he brought in Elvis Andrews. Elvis and has been great. He's been for outstanding. Guido. But if you don't have him doing what he's doing right now, yeah, it's a you don't go, and you hang don't, on. Yeah, you don't, you don't go into the postseason. But I just want to show him some love because I was home for the last couple of weeks and I was like, yo, every time I turn on the TV, Elo is doing damage, but I'm watching them. I'm like, they think they can get him out inside. So you, you used to pigeon toe? So I pigeon toe on the other side. Let me get over here, D. Hold up for me, big dog. So I was here, and I was like, every time I tap, I was coming out. You're right. I was caught from my backside. And I said, well, let me try this. And that's how I was, right? So I was here, dropped my hand. And if hands. anybody saw you in the old timers game, <laughs> you hit an absolute <laughs> rocket. Everyone looked like, no. Hey, man, you, you know what? Right. It came back to me because when you get out there. You face Cologne? Yeah. And I said, Bart, I said, Bart, you going to let me a cookie? He goes, no, no, Poppy. I he said, well, to get he you. wants to come get some of this. All right. <laughs> but that, that enga engaged it, you to stay back. It just, it just engages you to get on your backside. So 
If I told you that this oh, was God, going to. That hurts. I don't know how he does it. But it, it, it's not so. Ugh. Come I'm on, going a little into bit, spasm. Though. I almost <laughs> locked up. <laughs> but you got to get off. See, I think he's more like this. Like that, right? Yeah. So when he comes, he here, and then he's like, bam. You're watching Aaron Judge. Like we talk about, there's, there's nothing. We used to talk in Texas all the time. You, you think of your, of your weight distribution as a scale. You want to take it back to like 70, 70, 30. And right. then when you make contact, it's 50, 50. There's nothing out here. See? Him and Judge are just like picking it up, bang, bang. Yes, that's the difference, right? You're yeah. never going past that bat. And that, that to me is what he's adding. I like if that. he can just get on the field. I, look, I wasn't on the field a lot. <laughs> but I just wasn't. I, I didn't play a lot. You played play with me. me. It's just you have to see him for 150 plus games. Then you see damage. Consistently. I like you, Tate. That was that your idea to take the left? Yeah, I had to because when you look at yeah. hard, you know, hard hit balls on the inner half, you're thinking, you mean tell me the pitches won't throw out here? They think because that foot is turned in, I got this dude. I love it. You don't.